In this video, we'll show you how to add text to a stock design for easy custom digitizing. First in Stitch and Sew, let's open up the design. So we'll go to File and then Open Design, and then make sure you're in the location where you save the design. In this case, this one's on the desktop, and what you want to do next is pick the embroidery stitch file format that the design is in. In this case, our stock design happens to be in DST format, and we're going to open a uh, Maltese cross for a typical scenario here uh, for custom digitizing. Clicking OK, the design opens in a default color. We can change that if we want to. We can, for example, click on the design down here or select it here, right click and change color. Since this is a fire company, let's go ahead and make it in a fire engine red. You can either click on a color in our color picker here, or you can make it a pure red by making just the, set the red values to 255, green and blue to zero. You can see that makes a nice rich red, or just kind of click here. Uh, the color changes, and when we click off of that, you can see that uh, red. And also, let's view this in realistic view so you can see the texture and everything. So that's what our design looks like. Now let's go ahead and add text to this for uh, customization. First thing to do when you're uh, adding text or small detail is try and zoom in to the area you're working in. It gives your quality a little bit uh, and your placement a little more accuracy. We'll go ahead and click on lettering and uh, we'll pick an appropriate font here and type something as appropriate for the job. And if you don't see your text appear here, the program will put the text by default wherever the last stitch was. So you can see it sticks it here near the center, and we'll just move it up here and resume back in. Now we can place this stri uh, straight across if we want to. Um, because this is in an arch, we can take advantage of some of the tools in the Stitch and Sew program, where, we, for example, we can put this on the line uh, type frame, and we can actually kind of grab onto the parts of the line base and arch this if we want to and try to make the arch here to make it look a little bit nicer try to make the arch match uh, be parallel to the curvature of the uh, arc that it's sitting on and you can see the art looks a little bit nicer and if everything looks good uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just hit stitch it and it'll make it in the color uh, that's current up here. Here's the red that we set. Let's make a different color. Just a contrast and hit stitch it. That makes it into stitching. Now if you want to, you can see the the period here didn't quite align, but we can get out of lettering and still move these uh, letters around a little bit. Notice that when we select something and move it, then click off of it and that uh, clears off the selection marker and you can see a little bit more how that works. Zooming out to 100% you can see that's coming out rather nicely. Let's add another section here to uh, complete out the design. Uh, we'll put the word rescue down here. Again just uh, keeping in with the theme. And we'll type in rescue. And you can see this is set to just under half an inch high we can see that's a little bit too big uh, with small type fonts you can go reasonably uh, close with uh, a small t down to about a quarter of an inch so I type that in here and hit enter and you can see that shrinks down rather nicely and again for fine work here if we want to try and make that nice arch uh, we'll go ahead and click on the uh, frames tool and choose that line and again, by clicking on the different parts of that, uh, the different handles of that line, you can see that we can adjust the text. And once more, we'll go and arc the, the lettering. Let's bring that out as far as the usable space will allow us. And then arc it downwards. Again, try to match the arch of the... Try to match the arch of the uh, shape that it's sitting in uh, to get it to match a little bit better for that shape. You can see by adjusting the points, we can now adjust the curvature. Finally, we'll go ahead and hit stitch it when we're happy with that. And if need be, as, uh, as we'd said, you can get out of lettering and make other adjustments, to fine adjustments to 
letter spacing. Always remembering to click off of your selected to object to clear off those selection markers and finalize those changes. Zooming out, you can see that now we have a customized stock design.